Welcome back to the day 6 of Mastering Figma in 10 days. So if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, please kindly hit the subscribe button. So today we're going to learn how to create variant from component. Variant is from the word variation. So to create a variant from this our component here, you make sure you're selecting the component and click on the plus sign here. After doing that, you see we have a new variant here which is still inside the component so i will zoom in after that once you select this new variant on the right hand side you're going to get variant 2 so we're going to name this bg or btn minus danger so now let's change the color here because we said it's just a variation so i'm going to change the color to this red and the stroke, I also change that to this right here. So now, after creating this, you know, we have two variants here already. So if I want to apply this new variant that we've created, I'm going to select this. And then on the right hand side, where you will have the default, select it and pick BTN Danger. So now, it means whatever changes you are making here now is not going to affect this red button. You have to make the change from this master file. So let's try that. Let's say I'm changing the border radius to 8. You notice the danger is not affected because it has a new master, which is the variant. So let's add another variant again. So when you select this group, you can add a new variant. So I can select this and then drag it to the top a bit. So for this now, we can name that. So you select this, name it success, button success. So after you've done that, we can change the field to green. Green and the stroke also to green. So now if I should click on assets, drag this and then drop this here we can now change that on the right hand side to btn success so any changes we're making to this success let's say border radius let's say we're making that 15 you see it's also going to affect this one here so we have three masters here and you can create a smart button by just dragging this drop this drag this drop this so this is the default once you select this, then you can decide to change whichever one you want here. So after this, we're going to move to the next part of this tutorial, which is the grid system. To do that, I'm going to add a new frame here and select the MacBook Air here. After which we can now add a layout grid. So let's zoom in. So after having this, we need to add the layout grid. Once you add the layout grid, let's click on the settings here and change that to column. This layout grid will allow us to create world aligned design. So for the column, we're going to change that to 12. This is the standard. So by the time we add the margin, you will understand this better. So here I can set that to 120. So now it means every item we're adding is going to start from here and then stop here. So the gutter here is the space between each of this item. Let me reduce this so that we can all see to 10. You notice the space has been reduced. So I will normally stick to 16. And we're good. So here other can reduce it depending on the type of website you're creating. So now we're done with this. But there are times where the columns now interfere with the design. So if you still want to be able to align your design, we are going to add a ruler. To add a ruler, click on the Figma icon here where you have the view. Then we have ruler. Make sure your ruler is checked. If it's not, click on it. After that, you're going to have this sign here. So come in here, click and then drag this. Once you've dragged that, zoom in and 
you will find out that this is not a line here. Yours might be a line. So drag it and make sure it's touching this. Then I can zoom out and do the same for this. Click on this, drag it and then drop it here. Zoom out, make sure that this is here. And then we have our rulers. So you can select this frame here, that's the MacBook Air, and then hide this icon. Don't delete it. If you click here, you're going to delete it. You click here, you're just hiding it. You said it's not going to be visible. So now let's quickly create a navigation bar here. So to do that, I'm going to add a rectangle here. So I'm going to add this quickly. Then let's change the color of this. So I'm going to pick this. So the color of this, if you want, if you want to use the same color, is 07 D2A. Once you type that in this field, it's going to give you the same color. So I can increase the height of this a bit, but we said you can increase the width. So I'll drag this a bit. So now, please click back on this layer if you added this asset. This we can name this to our hero BG so that we don't have lots of rectangles without name. Once you have that, lock this because we don't want the user to be able to move this. If this is not locked, you see I can be able to okay, select this rectangle, you see move this around. But the moment you lock this, if once I select this, you see I can't do anything here. I can't move this, nothing. So always lock that. So now we're going to create a new nav bar with the auto layout. To do that, I'm going to select the ellipse here. So let's zoom in. So I'm going to hold shift to create this small ellipse. Once you've done that, I'm going to zoom in again. Once I've done this, zoom in till you get this point on this ellipse, because these are some of the features that we've not covered. But as time goes on, we'll be seeing some of the new features on the shapes. So click on this dot and then drag this. Once you've done that, you can adjust this somewhere here. Then click on this dot here and then expand this like this. So you can stop here. That's any way you want. So let's add a text here. We're just trying to create a dummy logo. So I'll just put that crunch. Crunch. So let's increase the size of this to, let's say to 18. Oh, we can make that crunch. Okay, 18 looks good. So let's change the color of this to white. So after changing the color, we have our logo. We can make this, this extra bold, make that extra bold. So I can select this and also select this item here and then Control G to group this. So now we have our logo, but then, okay, since we're grouping this, let's convert that to an auto layout by clicking on the plus sign. Once you group them, you select the group on the right hand side, you'll see the auto layout, click on the plus sign. So it has been converted to auto layout. So double click on the frame and rename that to logo. The next thing we want to do here is to add other links. So I'm going to add about so after adding about i'm going to change the size back to 12 and then instead of extra bold this should be regular then i'm going to select that and duplicate this so we change this to contact duplicate this and change this to services so now that we have these three items we also want to group them one two three shift a to put them in an auto layout. After that, make sure you're centering these three items. So the next thing we want to add before we round up with this lessons, it's a button. So I'm going to select this. Let me zoom in and add a sign up button. So I'm going to zoom in so we can see zoom in sign up. So now let's increase the text here to 14. And we need an auto layout. So press Shift A to add the auto layout. Then 
margin on left padding sorry left to right let's make that 30 and then top to bottom let's make that 12. so now having this we can now add a fill to this so i'm going to change the fill to this color here so now this is um 1f 1f 3b if you want to maintain the same color so having this we can now add some features like the padding i can make this let's say 31 sorry wait, let's make that 21 half of 41 so i don't want to use point so i'll use 41 so i can even add make that 42 i can fix so that we can just use 21 here so having this we're going to convert this to a component after converting this to a component now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a variant of this Control d and then i'm going to drag that and drop it here that is for our sign up button so we need to create another button for sign in but the sign in we don't want it to have a background so i'm going to select this and then add a variant so after this i will just change the variant name to no bg no minus bg that's no background so after adding that i'm going to scroll down and then where we have the fill let's minus that so after doing that i can select this button duplicate this and then drag this here so i'm going to change this to sign in but in ui we can have these two buttons here so i'm going to select this and then instead of default we're going to change that to no bg so you have the same button but this time this is not having any background so i'm going to select these two items and then press shift a to add them in an auto layout so we have group one group two and then group three so before we proceed i want to make sure that the spacing between this item is the same with the spacing i'm giving these two items here so here let's make sure this is 24. so here i'll click and make sure that it's 24. so after that we can now group these three items to form one entity so i'll press shift a so after doing that i have one item here so what i'm going to do here is make sure that this is centered so that we this was going to be well aligned so but we want the button to start here on this right hand side so what you're going to do is make sure you drag this container till it touches this so don't worry about the button come in here drag this till it touches this so but now the logo is not touching this and then the button is also not touching this to solve that that's because we're having this spacing between these items so now since we've increased the width of this we're going to say let's make this automatic so it's now going to start from the end of this and also from the beginning so which is the best way to add that so now if you're still watching this tutorial and you're still not subscribed please kindly hit the subscribe button